Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at how we upload an image to the database. So to start I've opened up my add product uh, form that we created in an earlier video and what I'm going to do first of all is add a open file dialog to the form so I'm just going to drag and drop that on and that you can see is called open file dialog one um, and then what I'm going to do here is use the upload button to go and fetch the actual file place the image into the image box and then upload it to the database so we can see here that the image uh, box here is called PB for picture box and image so we'll start off by using the upload and put a click event into this so just simply double click and that'll take us into the event handler for that click event. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the, the dialog box working. So I'm going to use something called a dialog result. So I've got dialog result there and I'm just going to call that results equals. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to my open file dialog that I put in a moment ago. Dot there. And what I'm looking for is the show dialog method. So pop that in. And what that's going to do, it's going to open up the dialog box for you to choose your file. Uh, the next thing I need to do is pop an if statement in there and I'm going to say well if the result um, if the result equals and I'm going to get the dialog and I want to whoops, dialog result and dot now what I'm looking for here is the OK so if the dialog result equals OK so they've pressed the OK button then I want something to happen there. So what's actually going to happen if they've pressed OK, um, I hopefully I'm going to be able to upload my image. So to do this, I'm going to do, need to do a few different bits and pieces. The first thing I'm going to need to do is add in a file stream. Now I'll need this to basically take uh, my image and actually represent it as a stream. So what I'm going to do is call that FS uh, and then BLOB for blob and file. Okay. So I've got my file stream. Now notice it's underlined here. This means I need to just resolve that. And I'll need to add the system IO to get that to work. So I've got my file stream there. And I'm going to say equals a new file stream. And then it's going to ask me for various different bits. First thing I'm going to need the file name. So open files dialog one dot file name will help me get that. So that's the file name in. And then I'm going to need to say how I want the file open so file mode dot I'm going to have that open ready for me to create the stream from um, and then hopefully my access mode so file access is going to be read so I can read from that file so that's pretty much my stream set up next from that uh, I'm then going to create something that's going to actually hold the bytes of the data and I'm going to need that to use that in various places so what I'm going to do is move up to the top here and I'm going to just pop in another private uh, variable up at the top and that private variable is going to hold the bytes of my image and I'm just going to call that byte uh, blob data and that's going to hold all of the individual bytes that have been read from my stream the reason I'm putting that at the top is just so I can access it um, in other functions if I need to so that's fine so once I've got that created, next job I'm going to get the actual length of this um, set of bytes. So let's just put byte blob data and we need to specify how big it is. And from that what I'm going to do is say equal to new byte and I'll specify the size of that. And that's going to be from the blob file that I've got up there. And I need to get the length of that. So that's going to create me a new byte array that's going to hold the uh, various picture image. So the next thing after that is then to actually get the data. So fs, let's get this back up from here. Blob file. And we're going to read that. So pop in the read statement there. And then what we're after is the array to store it in, which is going to be my byte data. And we're then going to need to put in the offset, which is going to be zero in this case. And then we need the length. So we're going to get Byte blob data dot length so we can tell it how much we need to read in. So that should hopefully then read the image. The only thing left to do is to close the blob file. So close that down like so. So that's it closed. And then what we're going to do with that finally is make a memory stream that's going to store it in. So memory stream. And I'm just going to call that STM for stream 
blob and data. So this is going to hold a stream that we can use to represent it. Equals new memory stream. And I need to pass that the byte blob data. So you don't have to worry too much about this. You can just copy this code straight in. And finally, I'm just going to say picture box. Whoops. I'm going to use my picture box that I created. So PB image. And I'm going to set the image to that equal to image dot from stream and then hopefully I can pass in my stream that I just created there if it's worked correctly whoops so stm there we go so that's passed that in so basically what this is going to do now it's when they've pressed ok I'm going to make a new file stream we're going to declare a byte array for it read it in make a stream and assign that to the image the only thing left to do once I've got the image it is going to be to actually then save that in the database again this is why I've put the byte data up here because now I can refer to that and we'll use that when saving okay to do the saving part of this all we're going to need to do is go back to our form and obviously then make use of the save button here so I'm going to add a click event to that and in the button save what we're going to do is create a new product and then save it so let's start off by creating a new product. Now we've already built all the entities for this, so I can just refer to them. So I'm going to make a new product, and that's what we're going to be saving. I'm just going to give that the instance now product. So equals new product. Oops, new table product. So that's the product created. And now what I need to do is start filling in all of the various properties of that. So the product dot description. Now that can come if you remember if we go back to our design there. We've labelled all these so we can see we've got a text box there with description in. So we're going to literally say equals text description dot text. Now notice we really should put some validation in here, but we're just doing this for simplicity. So product dot uh, price equals now. For the price, we're going to have to do something. We need to really trim and to pass the text box. So I'm going to say decimal dot pass. And what I'm going to do here is pass the text box that holds the price. Otherwise, that's going to give us an error. So that's the price taken care of. And finally, I'm going to put in the product.image. And that's just going to take in byte array that we've uh, created earlier on. So here we've got byte blob data there. And that will pop the image in. Obviously, I need to get the product type. So finally, I'm going to just go product.product .product type to get that. And we've made a combo box earlier on. And what I want to do there is actually get the selected value from that. Now, that's going to need to be an integer. And then if I just specify my combo category box dot, I'm going to want the selected value there. OK, so that's going to take that out and when I press the save, hopefully write that to the database. Now obviously here, I really, really should do some error checking at this point, um, but I'll, I'll do that just a bit later on. Finally, the only thing left to do at this stage is to save your product. So what we'll do here is we'll just literally go CSE, which is our, if you remember back at the top, uh, what we called our coffee shop entities. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the dot add to products add to table products which is automatically being generated and I'm going to pass in the product that we have just created there and again we've got no error checking on this so it's something that we really should do as a matter of course so that's it done the only thing to do is to save the changes so I'm going to CSE dot save changes and that's going to save the changes save that all up and hopefully when we press run uh, we won't get any errors but we'll take a look So, so far so good, don't appear to have any build errors. So let's run this, press our button one. Uh, let's just check our upload button. So we'll add uh, a picture. So let's just go and find a picture for that. And let's just take this picture of some chips here. Yep, so you can see there that that's worked as expected. Let's put in something for this, so £1.99. Um, it's gonna be the food category and we're just gonna press the save button and it looks as if that's going in okay and yes that's gone okay the only thing is here we really could do some sort of confirmation to say that the record has been successfully saved so all I'm going to do just to make that work is just at the bottom of this 
once we've saved the changes go back into my code and I'm just going to put a message box and let's just put M box in there and bring that in and I'm going to say record saved and there we have it that's the add product uh, part of the project complete